king of the road. I'll say it again, and I'm the first one to say this, Neil the Real McCoy. That is the most original thing I've ever heard. Congratulations. I've been working on that all day, Neil. <laughs> <laughs> it's great to finally meet you, man. Uh, you have a reputation of being one of the most approachable, personable people in country yeah. music, and uh, so far, I believe it. Well, good. Well, we're just kicking me off his bus well, here. Well, we're yes. just fixing to kick you out now, so you may want to retract that statement when you're out there filming by yourself. No. Yeah, we, we think we're easy to talk to. We've always been that way, and I think uh, if you just learned a long time ago, if you put on a good show every night and treat people nice, you can work a long time. All right, it's Neil McCoy. You count uh, some of your influences as uh, Frank Sinatra, you right. like, and uh, even Michael Jackson? Yeah, you know, I was a, I was probably a, more, a Michael Jackson fan more then than now. He's 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 a little crazy now, going off a little, little off the deep end, but he used to be a great singer, great entertainer, you know, and he started so young, and and really was knowledgeable about music and, and did such a great job, but now he's, he's a little different now, so I probably ought to take that out of my bio, shouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the stuff I saw was a little dated, but uh, <laughs> have you ever met him? No, never met Michael. Uh, I would love to, but the odds of that are probably not very good. I may be too old for him. Oh, just... That's a little joke. <laughs> you, can take okay. that, you can edit that out if you need to. Oh, we'll, we'll have fun with that one. <laughs> All right. That's, uh, that's Neil McCoy again. Uh, we're at the Texas Longhorn Club. Uh, three platinum albums, one gold album, and, uh, man, you just keep churning them out. Uh, how many years on the road now? Gosh, we've been doing this. I've been on the, on the road earning a living probably last, for 20 years. I've been singing professionally maybe 27 28 but we've been recording since 1990 is when i first got my record deal with atlantic Records. so i've been around and that's been about 16 17 years so we've been at it a long time we've made a lot of stops met a lot of wonderful people and and you know with with having my own record label we were fortunate enough that we had a hit out not too long ago called billy's got his beer goggles on and that was on my own record label so we uh, gave me an avenue to uh, to do some stuff that i wanted to do that maybe some other folks at a major label might not have approved like a billy's got his beer goggles on and and it seemed to work for us, so who knows what we're going to come with next. Well, you, you know, you're the best one to take control of it because uh, you really know what you want, and uh, you're going to put it out there. And that, that's a trend that a lot of uh, country uh, stars are, are going towards now, uh, having their own record label. Tracy Lawrence uh, does that, and uh, Tracy Bird. Yeah, Bird's doing it. Uh, Aaron Tippin's trying it. There are quite a few folks trying it. Uh, it's tough. It really is tough. Uh, and, and some of them are trying it, just like me. You know, if you were to ask me how come how come I did that, I could sit here and lie to you and tell you, well, how, why did I start my own label so I could uh, do my own thing and and artistic freedom and stuff. But in reality, I don't know if I could have got a record deal. <laughs> so I just thought the time was right and I tried it and, and it worked for us. So and we it, got pretty lucky. It's working out. Uh, you take a little of the risk involved, but I'm sure the rewards are greater. The rewards are greater. The risk is much greater, and the rewards are a little bit greater. So I don't know if I, <laughs> I don't know if I'd recommend it to anybody. It's a lot of hard work. Uh, it's it's work around the clock. There's so much involved in it, but you know, once you can get your record back on the radio, which we hadn't had in a while, and hear it playing on the radio, it seems to be worth it. Well, Billy's got his beer goggles on. We played the heck out of that on Kicker 95.1. Yeah, thank you. That was a good record, big record for us. I can't think of one song of yours that I don't love. I just I love your singing, and uh, I'm excited to finally get to see you in person because your uh, concerts are legendary. <laughs> they are. Anytime you bring up the name Neil McCoy in country music circles. Uh, first thing out of their mouths. Great entertainers. So. Well, I'm, I'm glad because we've worked hard to establish that reputation and to keep that reputation. You know, you can you can get one, but, and, but we've never let, a, we've never, I've never mailed a, as they say, mailed a show in. I always work as hard as I can every show uh, because you you never know when that's going to be your last time to perform for them or, or your last chance to even entertain. You just never know with the way life is. So, might as well get out there and give it all you got. And, and uh, if, you, if you're a little worn out for the, the next day, at least there is a next day. That's uh, Neil uh, McCoy, originally from Jacksonville, yeah. live in uh, Longview now. You actually had your first concert in uh, Nacogdoches a long time ago with, with the Carpenters? Well, I, I, that was my first concert I went to. Oh, went to? Yeah, okay. I sure didn't perform with the Carpenters. They, didn't, they wouldn't want me to do anything with them. Shoot, who was I? But that was the first concert I went to. I saw Karen Carpenter, and I just thought, at the time, I was a major Carpenters fan, and I thought, how can anybody... Surely she didn't sing that good in real life, and she did. She was wonderful. Okay, well, we can't wait for the show. Uh, thanks for your time. All right, you're welcome. Thank you all for talking to me. Good luck with that marriage, that engagement and marriage coming up. <laughs> the camera's shaking a little bit. What happened? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> she told me to say that. We're going to have a great time tonight. I want to introduce you to Jim King from KYKR. Give him a big hand. Thank you, Cameron. 
Hey, you can also win tickets to uh, Emerson Drive for next Friday night here at the Texas Longhorn Club on Kicker 95.1. And I'm proud to say that uh, Texas Longhorn Club uh, sponsors my little TV show on Sunday night. So if you're up late this Sunday night on uh, Fox 64, you can check out the King of the Road show. All right, folks. Two-time Entertainer of the Year. ACM Humanitarian of the Year. 903 Music Recording Artist, Neil McCoy. Hope you enjoyed our visit with country star Neil McCoy. Coming up next, a conversation with up-and-coming country crooner, John Thibodeau.